Hey guys, welcome to this new video. And if any of you were wondering, no, I will not be uploading an episode of Starring Roll today. I have started to edit it and video it, but that will be ready by next week or maybe the week after. So today I'll be substituting that with this new tutorial. I'll be answering Stargazer124's question about the text on the music video Rise. This video also goes to anybody else who wants to know how I did the text, so let's get started. I apologise to everybody that because I do not know how to record my iPod screen without using like Airshoe or something, but I don't trust Airshoe because I don't know, I just don't want any viruses or anything on my iPod. So yeah, if you want to see more of these types of videos of me giving you tutorials about video star and stuff, then make sure you subscribe and like this video. When it gets three likes, I'll make another one. Bye! Please note this is only for iOS devices that can have video star on it. So let's get started. Hope you enjoy. What you want to do first is locate the app Video Star and then click on this little um plus sign at the top of the screen. And you can either select song or edit existing video. I'm just going to select a song. So so here I have some songs, I haven't got many on the iPad, but I'm just going to choose um, Stressed Out by 21 Pilots, you can like um, select a certain like, length, so I'm just going to end. Okay, so you should, you should load onto this page and what you want to do is record a clip. Okay, so now I've recorded my clip and this is what it looks like. So if you want to have the words on your screen, click new and there's multi-layer clip. When you push it, it will take you to this page with purple for the back and blue for the front. What you want to do is click on back and then click your clip. Next you want to go on to front which will be your text. So you click on front and then here it says text. And then you click on that right there. It will load and bring you to this. So as you can see, it says the words my name, and that's just something I did before. It really doesn't matter what you write, it's like writing like, the lyrics and stuff. So if you want to see how you, I got this gradient here, carry on watching. But if you don't want to see how I did this, you can just skip to the next scene and then I will put the times on the screen where it will change. So first to get this, you want to click color. And down here, you can see the word type. Make sure, well, you're on gradient, but like when you first have it, you have, you, you have be on single. You want to t click on the bottom one, gradient, and choose two colors. Here I chose blue and pink, and then it literally does the gradient for you. It does it itself, it's really easy. You have to do hardly anything except for choose two colors. So here we have my name. Now you want to press done and you can just click next. And you just want to click next again unless you want to rub something out. And here we are. Okay, so now we're on this screen. If you want to resize it, you can pinch the screen to kind of make it smaller or you can like do this to make it bigger. But at the moment, I just want to move it here. You can do like literally whatever you want move it around and you can also if you click on number one you can like make it turn in the video when you do all of this you want to make sure you observe this little line here as you can see if I put size to zero there's no um, text anymore and if I drag this all the way to the end and put size um, 96 this will happen So as you can see it grew bigger and if you do not want that you're just going to have to make the size a zero there so you want to make sure it's zero at the start and zero at the end if you want it, them both to be um 75 you want to make it sure it's 75 at the end and also 75 at the start okay 75 
Okay, it doesn't matter, but roughly the same size. And to make it move around, you do this. So let's say we want it to follow the cat. So let's put it down here. Like once she's decided, we want to put it on the opposite side. So when she's here, we'll put it here, and we'll observe when she moves. So when she's here, we want it to go here. Let's just make that a bit smaller. So as you can see, it moved. But what if you didn't want it going over her face? You can either make it go over her or just disappear. So if you want it to go over her, you want to make it go a bit up. Make it go up. Make sure it's still up. So here. But if you want it to disappear when it goes, when she's in there, you want to just drag it to the side and look at when it, she moves. Oh, actually, let me just do this and then make sure that's there. So you want to make sure that it's there at the end and at the start it's there. So now when, when it moves to her, you want to stop it there. I like to make it, like change the opacity to z like zero or something and then go back to 100. So it makes this little line right there, just to make note of where something is. So right here, it's this is the point where it starts to go to her. So you want to kind of make make it like zero opacity, and then and then when this little white thing's all the way at the end, you want to make sure the opacity goes to 100%. So, this is what the result looks like. Make note of these little lines here, and right there. So let me just pull it right all the way back to the start. Here you can see that the opacity is 100%, the size is just the normal size, and when I click to the next one, it's still the same, but when I click to the next one, it's gone to zero opacity. And then it's still zero, still zero, until the end where it goes back to the, the normal amount it should be at. So basically, if you have like zero here and 97 here, it will like slowly show it this itself again. So like this. It was zero here and it's 100 here. And look again, it shows itself. For more tutorials like this, make sure you give this a like and subscribe because I'll be making another one giving more detail about what I did with all the transitions and stuff. Bye!